y'all thanks for checking into another video in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys the fastest way and how to sharpen photos and Photoshop the fastest way so first thing you're gonna do is bring your photo to Photoshop now in order to get this screen right here you have to make sure that you are shooting in raw you have to shoot in raw in order to get this photo come up on your photo Photoshop screen. This allows you to control all of your aspects of your photo and what you want to do. So for instance, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm going to do real quick. This is a, exactly the process that I do when I'm bringing a photo in when I want to make it sharp. And you only could do this if you are using raw. If you're only shooting in raw, you can do this right here where you can manipulate a lot of things going on in the photo. You can take up your shadows. You can push them dark, push them down a little bit. Uh, and this is what you want to pay attention to right here. This, 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 uh, this right here, clarity. So as you see, you can go down. It'll make it too soft. You can go up. It'll punch that softness, uh, softness away, and it will make it sharper. Right? It'll make the clarity a lot stronger. Now you don't want to go too strong because it'll make it look like that. Unless you want your photo to look like that. If that's how you like to shoot, then you go ahead and you do that. But me, that ain't me. So I ain't going to be doing that. So I like to keep it around like 20, 21. Uh, the next thing what you're going to do is go to this arrow and you're going to go to sharpen. On sharpening, you're going to go ahead and hit it up just a little bit. You don't want it too sharp. But what you do is you do want it sharp. Now, if you want to see a difference, you can go ahead and you can go closer and you can see this by going to the bottom, hitting maybe 200%. And if you want to make sure her eyes are nice and sharp, you can go ahead and hit that up. Another good thing to do is to go to your back to your clarity if you want to see how sharp the eyes are. And then you can zoom out just to make sure that you're happy at what you're getting. Always zoom in and zoom out for what you're getting. Now this is another important part right here, so pay attention. What I like to do is on a Mac, you either hold down Alt, the Option key, and you can mask how sharp you want something in your photo to be. So what I do is everything that's outlined is gonna be the sharpest in the photo. So I take my masking and I hold Alt and Option in the mouse and I drag. So everything that's basically outlined is going to be sharpened in that photo. Everything here will be sharpened. I don't want everything. I just want her outline of her, her eyes most importantly to be sharp. So I make sure I hold the Option and the Alt key. Sharpen a little bit more and that looks good to me. I don't like to do a lot of, a lot of different things. After you do that, you hit open image. That will take your photo straight to Photoshop. In order to do anything else you need, like what I usually do is I'll give you a little bit more tips. I have a frequency separation uh, action right here that I use with some of my photos. If you're interested in that, send me a comment below and I will make that available for you guys. Now what this does is it goes, you hit play, and I usually go to 8.5, sometimes 9 on the blur. And then what I will do is I'll just push that away. I will go to my frequency separation tab. You'll have a high frequency and you'll have a low frequency. And if you guys are interested in this tutorial, this is a whole nother, a whole nother beast. But if you guys are interested, let me know and I will show you guys my whole retouching uh, process of what I do to fix this photo up whether it be coming in and cleaning up dimples making her skin a lot smoother in the face um, and just making it a little bit more natural and maybe making her eyes pop so I hope this video was some good value for you if it was please leave me a comment hit that bell subscribe to the channel it really will help me out a lot guys I am getting closer to a thousand and uh, yeah let me know about your comments below, and I will see you guys in another video. Peace out. Have a great day. See you later. See y'all guys.